Hey everyone, I am going to walk you through the steps that you need to make your black letter word dream, okay? It's gonna look something like this, but of course you'll be able to add your own designs to the inside and outside of it. And the reason that we are using the word dream is in honor of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. So we know that famous speech where he said, I have a dream, and that is the word that we're gonna focus on and we are going to create on our paper. All right, so I'm gonna set this one aside. You wanna make sure your paper is horizontal. And when we do our black letters, we are going to start on the left and I suggest you use a pencil. I'm using a marker so you can see the lines, but um, just in case I would use a pencil so you can erase it if you wanted to. You could always trace over it with your marker when you're done. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start with my D. And my uh, black letter D, it's pretty easy. It's, I'm just gonna make a D two times. So I'm gonna start by making a pretty big letter D and then on the inside of it another D okay and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna imagine that there is a light shining and we'll say a light is shining from the left side okay it's shining this way and so wherever the light is hitting, um, the opposite side of that is gonna be dark. So if the light is shining on this side, then this side is gonna be dark. So this is what I mean. So the right side of my letter is gonna be dark. If the light is shining here, there's a shadow here. If the light is, again, shining here, there's gonna be a shadow on the right side. So I'm going to make the right side dark. Okay, that's going to make it look three-dimensional. Now, you might be thinking, but why didn't I do the right side of this D? That's because I'm kind of breaking them into different shapes. So if I just start with this, I'm gonna make the right side of that dark. Then if I go into this section, the right side of that will be dark. Okay. So when I make the letter R, I'm just gonna make a straight line. Okay. And I'm going to go around but I'm not going to go all the way in like we would when we do a regular letter R. So I'm going to leave room for it to be open. I'm going to go to the bottom and make a sideways line and then bring it up. Then I'm going to make two slanted lines and then connect it. Okay, and then when I do the inside of the top, that's like making a letter D. So now I'm gonna break it into sections and do that shadow again. So the shadow is gonna be on the right side. So if I start with just this section, the right side of that would be right here and right here. Okay, so this section here. Then if I go to this section, the right side would be here. I'm gonna make that a little darker. And then this is the right side. I'm just gonna continue this so it's darker. So it kind of just gives it like a little 3D effect. All right, now when I do my letter E, same thing. I'm gonna start with a straight line it's even gonna overlap a little bit, so I'll make it look like it's coming behind the R. And I'm gonna make one, 
and two sideways lines. Now here, I'm gonna make a line that comes down and a line that goes up. And then I'm just gonna go in and then down and then in and then up. And I wanna make this so it's roughly in the center. So I'm gonna go out, down, and back in. Okay, same thing when I do the shadow, this section here, the right side, And then these sections, I'm just going to do a thick line on the right side of that. All right. So if I'm doing my A, I'm going to have my A overlap behind my E a little bit. And I'm just going to do the top of my A like a normal letter A. Okay. Now I want to make this bottom part diagonal and then I'm going to slant it back up and then I'm going to make a short sideways line and slant it down. Then at the top I'm just going to make a triangle. Okay, I'm going to start with just this section here on the right side. I'm going to make this thicker. And then I'm going to go over to this section and make a thick line on the right side here. Okay. And for my M, I'm going to make it look like it's overlapping under the A. And I'm going to make a line that goes down and up like a V and a straight line on the other side. Under that V, I'm gonna make another V. And then lines down, and then on the bottom connect. So if I start with this section, the right side will be right here. Okay, now if I start with this section, this would be the right side. If I start with this section, this would be the right side. And then of course the right side would be right here when I make that thick line. You're welcome to use a ruler um, if you want your lines to be really straight, but you don't have to. So now you have your word a dream. And inside you can make designs you can make uh, other words. So let's say I'm just gonna start by making some designs in here. Okay, uh, maybe in my M, I wanna just do MLK. Maybe I want to put the word March. Maybe I want to put the word Unite. Maybe I want to write the word Hope. Uh, maybe I want the word Justice. Maybe I want the word peace. Love. Okay, you decide what you want to do. Maybe here I'm going to do, I'm going to do like a dove right here. And then what you would do is color it. You can add other designs around it, whatever you want. And then that is your 
black letter word dream in honor of Dr. King's dream for the world. Okay, can't wait to see how yours turn out. Have fun, everybody.